Cubase, everything in Cubase, because it sounds better than everything. The features in 9.5 are great. Um, you know, with DAWs and technology, you can get lost in the technical stuff and computer stuff, but seeing all of these new features, uh, you, it reminds you that it's music, that you're creating music. So that's what I'm impressed with the most, that you still feel like you're creating music and not, you know, uh, playing a video game or just messing with a computer. You know, it still, it, it brings back the musicality to being a creator. One feature, one new feature that stood out to me is the ability to alter the click. I'm a drummer, um, I'm also a producer, which uh, I use samples and a lot of stuff, you know, that was recorded in the 70s and 80s, they don't have, you know, it wasn't recorded to a click. So to be able to m manipulate the click to the audio, that's game changer right there. The new feature, um, being able to man manipulate vocals, um, it's crazy because, you know, you want to save time in anything nowadays, you know what I mean, 2017, you want to save time. And the new vocal feature where you can just, you know, in the matter of a click or two, produce harmonies or uh, a score or a lead sheet, um, those features are really, really crazy. Cubase 9.5, I think that the, the feature that excites me the most, even though it might be really mundane and boring, is the click. As a, as a person who writes music for film and TV and games, being able to do that for the players and having a click track that's, that's modifiable, where you don't have to be scrambling on a scoring stage to figure out how to, how to do that is really big. You can change all the patterns, you can change the sounds, and that's really, really handy. What I love about it is that when I sit down and write with Cubase, I don't think about Cubase. I just think about what I'm doing with it. You know, I, I don't have to think about my setup. It's, it's a couple of clicks here and there and I'm already being creative, which is the most important thing to me. It's not trying to think about the tech of it, it's just, it, it's working. The best thing about 9.5 I saw today is probably the uh, tempo track feature. It's a real game changer for me and uh, most likely the most useful and usable feature that, that's come out of today. I've actually used Cubis since I was a really small child, Atari ST, uh, about 1993 when I was a schoolboy. Uh, so I've been there for a very long time. I had uh, Notator and I had um, Cubis. I think on the 1040 STE, uh, when all the other kids were playing video games, I was joining the dots in, in Cubis. So I've been there for a very long time. Uh, yeah, actually, the yeah, click track is really cool because the ability to be able to divide a bar in 4-4 into seven click segments and actually just play that within a 4-4 time signature within one bar is hugely clever. Um, being able to divide time in that way in your head is not an easy thing to do, even if you are a very accomplished musician, which I'm not.